Hi everybody, Fox Nomad here, and today I wanna to help you travel smarter by showing you what a thousand dollar Airbnb looks like in Istanbul, Turkey, how Airbnb works in Istanbul, and how you can save money on Airbnb in Istanbul. All right, so before we get started, just a few caveats. One, a lot of this depends on where you are in the city, the time of the year you are in the city, and this apartment is really just an example. If you were living in Istanbul, if you were to put this apartment on Airbnb, in this area, you could probably put it for about $1,000. But there are a lot of great deals on Airbnb right now, especially as the Turkish Lira is really weak against the US dollar and the Euro. So if you're coming here, there are definitely deals to be found. Now let's get a few other caveats out of the way. When you're searching for an apartment in Istanbul, especially if you're using a rental site like Airbnb, you wanna not just look by the neighborhood, but you wanna really zoom in on that map and look by the street because the prices can vary a lot and there's a lot of competition with people putting their apartments on Airbnb so the difference between one block and the next block over can be really 50% you can find an apartment that's very comparable and it could be half the price so in Istanbul generally what I've noticed is Airbnb rates tend to be about 50 to 60% higher than what the local rate would be so if you were just renting the apartment regularly for a year then that would be about half what you find on Airbnb about Again, Airbnb includes your utilities, you've got your water, electric, internet usually, and the internet is gonna be slow, just get that out of the way. But those are some of the things that you get the advantage of when you book you know, short-term rental if you're coming here for a vacation or for a short stay. Also, if you're booking and you're thinking about getting an apartment, it's obviously gonna be cheaper for you the longer you book. So if you book for a one month stay, that's gonna be less expensive for you. Also, if you look outside of the areas that are very popular, so Taksim, Beşiktaş, where this apartment is, those are very popular areas. They're also very expensive areas they tend to be. So you want to look around maybe a little bit outside. You want to check out some other places where you can find good deals, which are still walkable, close to everything that you want to see, and so on. But to give you an idea of what a $1,000 apartment in a very, very popular and expensive area of Istanbul could go for, let me go ahead and show you. So. Let's start off with this first. Dining room area, which you can see, it's got this unique color couch there. You've got a dining room table. You've also got these windows from the second floor and you can take a look outside and see. So it's not too high up. You can also take the elevator. So there's an elevator in this building, which may or may not have an elevator if you're coming here. So you wanna make sure that if you have trouble walking stairs, or if your apartment is on a higher floor that when you arrive you want to make sure if there's an elevator if walking or carrying bags is just something you don't want to do or you can't do make sure you check about the elevator so going on here we've got a very fake fireplace couch table there and a small table it's a it's a pretty large living room area and this whole apartment is three bedrooms and one bathroom also there's an air conditioning unit which in the summer is pretty helpful it's only air conditioning unit in the whole, uh, in the entire apartment. So you just wanna close the door, turn the air conditioning on and there you go. So this is the main entrance. You've got a place for all your stuff. Clearly, if you need, if you need space, there's like a billion shelves here. And then now into the kitchen, decorated with some wallpaper, some tiling. Dishwasher is gonna be pretty standard in most places. Obviously stove, usually gas, refrigerator. All right, so let's go on. Got this hallway right here. Closet space, you wouldn't use that. And let's take a look at the first bedroom here. All right, so we got a bed, small room, nice yellow background if you make YouTube videos. So pretty basic, nothing really in here, but like I said, you've got plenty of place to store your things. So if you need closet space, I'll show you there's a lot more closet space. But now let's look into the bathroom right there. Hey, pretty simple. Laundry machine is gonna be pretty standard. Shower, you know, pretty much the basic stuff. Then you're gonna come in here. So you've got a room like this where you've got a large desk. So if you work, if you're digital nomading, you've got plenty of place for your gear there. You've got another bed for more gear. Shelf space there, another shelf up there. And you've got a balcony as well. So you can see, not something that I've used particularly often. And also there's kind of this garden area, which is really nice because it's a little bit quieter. 
So it's not quite as loud unless the cats are fighting. There are cats usually hanging out in there and they're fighting over territory. So you have a little bit about that. But as far as having a little bit of green space, it is nice, which it's not entirely common, especially in this part of the city to have this kind of backyard area where you can just sort of see greenery as well. And it, it kind of insulates you from the other buildings. Also, I should note that the walls are pretty thick. They're made of stone. So generally speaking, a lot of these older buildings, especially it's going to be pretty quiet. Then you've got this again, interestingly decorated bedroom, some wallpaper. So every room, for example, in this apartment has a different color scheme and you've got a crazy amount of closet space. Now, I want to give you another tip on how you can save while you're here. Chances are, if you're staying here for about a month, that means that you can probably negotiate your way to a way better deal just by getting in touch with the owner. Say, hey, look, I'm thinking about, I'm staying a month, I'm looking for apartments, and I want to see if you can give me a better deal. Maybe you're considering staying even longer. So you send a message through Airbnb and say, hey, I'm thinking about staying here for a month, maybe longer, and I wanted to see if you can give me a better deal than the rate that you show listed on Airbnb. And typically because you're negotiating outside of Airbnb and the owner doesn't have to pay fees to them and you don't have to pay their fees, you can typically always get a better rate and usually for apartments that are listed for a month or two so they have those long-term rentals available typically the owners are going to be pretty open to that so it's a good way to get a good deal on an apartment if you're staying just a couple of months obviously if you're staying longer you want to go through kind of the regular apartment search process um, if you want to see a video about that let me know down in the in the comments below but, but essentially if you're staying short term this is kind of what you can expect now again this is an apartment in a very expensive part of the city it's a rather large apartment so that price of a thousand dollars a month can vary a lot so you could get something that's a lot less expensive depending on which part of the city you're staying in but also the time of the year and the currency fluctuations a block over you could find an apartment that's half this price maybe not quite as big but comparable close and uh, get yourself a pretty good deal on an apartment and right now the currency if you have dollars and euros is really in your favor tourism is down so there's a lot of competition for airbnb so you're gonna get pretty good deals at this time of the year. So hopefully this video gives you an idea of what $1,000 and probably a lot less can get you on an Airbnb rental on Istanbul, Turkey. Let me know if you have any questions down in the comments below. While you're down there, make sure you hit the like and subscribe buttons. I'll have new videos for you every week. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Fees, they don't really because you're B, baby.